Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this last day of November 2021 and the feast day of St. Andrew the Apostle. So we skip off of our Advent readings and move into the readings for our feast day today and we hear the calling of four of the apostles, Andrew and his brother Simon and the two brothers, the sons of Zebedee, James and John. And uh, so we, we look at that and I, I love what Father Juan said this morning at Mass during his homily. Yeah, we're, we're called to be children of God and it's a beautiful and wonderful thing and we should never forget that we are always God's children. But then there comes a time when we have to sort of mature somewhat in our faith and in our in in our lives and realize too that we're also called to be disciples all of us we're all called to be disciples along as well as being god's children so we have a couple of different roles to play in our life of uh, Christianity, following Christ and being a uh, son of God, being a child of God. Uh, also, we have to be a sharer of the wealth of his love and wisdom and, and just knowing that when we're, giving, we're given that gift of love from God, it's meant to be uh, shared with others. And that's being a disciple, really. That's all... All we have to do to be a, a disciple is to take what God places in our lives, in our hearts, and open that up for others to know as well through our words, through our lives. You know, and uh, it, we heard that in the, the first reading today, too, from Paul's letter, that uh, we take what's in our heart and express it with our mouths. So we, we, we have to be uh, more than just children uh, and be disciples. So as we look to the example of the great apostles called by Jesus, uh, and, and then we can also look to the examples we have in our own lives, uh, all of our teachers and the people responsible for getting us to where we are today. And then realizing that we have to do likewise. We have to be uh, evangelist uh, in, in our own culture, in our own uh, world. And just in, by whatever means that we can. So let us pray that God gives us the courage and strength to take what's in our heart and express it through our words and through our lives. Let us pray our evening prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord saw Peter and Andrew. He called them to follow him. I trusted even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds, a thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, precious in your sight is the death of the saints, but precious above all is the love with which Christ suffered to redeem us. 
in this life we fill up in our own flesh what is still lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Accept this as our sacrifice of praise, and we shall even now taste the joy of the new Jerusalem. The Lord saw Peter and Andrew. He called them to follow him. Come follow me, said the Lord. I will make you fishers of men. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have raised us from the earth. May you let the seeds of justice which we have sown in tears grow and increase in your sight. May we, may we reap in joy the harvest we hope for patiently. Come follow me, said the Lord. I will make you fishers of men. They left their nets to follow Christ, their Lord and Redeemer. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed, and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. They left their nets to follow Christ, their Lord and Redeemer. A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Christ gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers in roles of service for the faithful to build up the body of Christ, till we become one in faith and in the knowledge of God's Son, and from that perfect man who is Christ come to full stature. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Make known his wonders to every people, how glorious God is. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Andrew served Christ and loyally preached the gospel. With his brother Peter, he laid down his life for God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Andrew served Christ and loyally preached the gospel. With his brother Peter, he laid down his life for God. My brothers and sisters, we build on the foundation of the apostles. Let us pray to our Almighty Father for his holy people and say, Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Father, you wanted your Son to be seen first by the apostles after the resurrection from the dead. We ask you to make us his witnesses to the farthest corners of the world. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to preach your good news to the poor. Help us to preach this gospel to every creature. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to sow the seed of unending life. Grant that we who work at sowing the seed may share the joy of the harvest. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to reconcile all to you through his blood. Help us all to work toward achieving this reconciliation. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Your Son sits at your right hand in heaven. Let the dead enter your kingdom of joy. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, in your kindness, hear our petitions. You called Andrew, the apostle, to preach the gospel and guide your church in faith. May he always be our friend in your presence to help us with his prayers. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone. Uh, hopefully you'll be attending the mission this evening. And uh, uh, it's the second night of three. So uh, looking forward to going there right now from uh, here and uh, enjoying Father Bill. Uh, if you can't make it to church, know that they're streaming the, uh, the mission on uh, Facebook and YouTube. So tune in. Uh, you can look back at last night's, watch tonight's, and then stay tuned for tomorrow. And I will see you tomorrow also. God bless you all.